depending on whether this game is your thing or not, because no one shuts up about that one person, like, like not even one percent, zero point one percent tripping. I barely tripped in Brawl. But besides the point, I'm here to talk to you about some glitches in Brawl. Brawl is my favorite Smash game. Well, second favorite. And it does have the best music. And unlike Melee, its intro is not false advertising. I wanted some of those scenes in the Melee intro to be in the actual story mode. Why? And the story mode is way more intense than Melee's adventure mode. Melee's adventure mode sucked. And the fact that you can have stickers. Yes, this game does have stickers. The stickers are fun. But it's still kind of broken. So I'm gonna show you some glitches in Super Smash Brothers Brawl! Let's get started. Let's start out with this glitch that makes the screen shake. Woo! All you have to do is go to the right corner of the PictoChat stage and use Kirby's Down B, which is basically the stone power. Boom! You've temporarily broken the game! Bow down to your small unicellular god. Here's another pointless glitch. Choose a heavy character, and choose Kirby. Give the heavy character 1 HP. Go on a stage that is not a giant floating platform. Mario Circuit works nice. Then stand on the lowest part of the stage. Have Kirby inhale the fat character, and once Kirby presses down on the analog stick, the fatty will fall through the world. This has no point. This next glitch is a bit cooler. In stamina mode, choose a character with a transformation final smash and set their HP to 1. And make it so smash balls are on very high. Then go on to a stage and wait for a smash ball to appear. When a smash ball does appear, break it and then transform Bowser into Giga Bowser. Then have one of the other characters bop him. And BAM! You're playing as a zombie. The only catch is that there are only one hit from death. Okay, now no more fooling around. This next glitch is really cool. Do a team match. Have player one be a really hard hitter. Captain Falcon works. Because he's an awesome punk. <clears throat> player two is just there. And players three and four are going to be the ones squished together. Go into final destination and line up players two, three, and four near the edge. Then do the hardest hit you can ever do and bam, they will, will all fly and instantly die. And when 
the results screen appears. Oh, looks like MatPat's theory was right. Now I present to you a funny montage. Okay, I know they were friends in Subspace Emissary, but this is just ridiculous. Looks like Pit's getting close to his crush. This is the closest thing we will ever have to Sonichu being in Brawl. Fox and Meta Knight, the two most broken characters in Smash Bros. Pit's not the only one who wants to get close to Zelda. Now for the biggest glitch of them all. Heh, <laughs> biggest? You'll, you'll see what I mean in a second. To do this glitch, you have to choose Jigglypuff. Have Smash Balls turned on, then select the Bridge of Elden stage. Then wait for the guy who destroys the bridge to destroy the bridge. Nailed it. When a Smash Ball appears, have Jigglypuff get the Smash Ball. So her eyes will be all glowy yellow and stuff. And when the bridge repairs itself, Jigglypuff should jump into the bridge while it's repairing and use her final smash. If done right, Jigglypuff will stay as her gigantic self. As you can see here, I didn't use my final smash in time, so I am not super gigantic. It's still pretty cool though. Oh, and if Jigglypuff uses her final smash again, she will just turn back to normal. She won't be bigger. So boom, those are some glitches in Super Smash Bros. Brawl. If you liked the video then, well there's a button to show me how much you liked the video. If you want to see more videos like this, then subscribe. I'll see you in a video where I uh, put myself in a garbage can. Bye bye. Yeah. <laughs>